Yeah, well, it's a big problem, and Gary Leipkamp has done an excellent uh, a variety of very good economic articles on oil wells, and there your problem is timing uh, rather than um, how much you take out now, because if you take out oil too fast, the um, soil around it collapses. And so oil companies have had to invest heavily in getting good technical geologic information and then developing agreements among them as to the way they're going to extract. And to that extent, while the oil is in the ground, it's a common pool. But like uh, water, uh, once it's pulled out, it becomes something that can be packaged. And uh, here, uh, the problem of getting good timing is a very big one. Uh, in the Middle East, oil has been run pretty much as a oligopoly. Uh, and a part of our problem is uh, uh, the pricing of an oligopoly is uh, not necessarily a fair pricing. On the other hand, we do need to have mo more um, resources uh, that are used for heating and transport uh, priced higher, but it's then can that money go into uh, public coffers that then invest in new solar uh, innovations, wind power, and a variety of other techniques rather than into an oligopolist pocket. Well, all of the water industry in the United States is dealing with a common pool resource. And so uh, there are many private and public firms, and many of them uh, do very well and others don't. Some are, are not, not good at all. Um, electricity is also uh, using common facilities, but both with electricity and water, they both have an arrangement in many cities where when you actually use it in a household, you, you now have converted the water in the household to a private good. Um, and so it is again showing this um, difference between the water in the lake or in the river and the water that's in the pipe and gone into the household and you turn the tap and now it's private good. We've made a distinction in our work between public goods and common pool resources. Both of them have uh, a problem of uh, keeping people out. It's difficult to exclude people from a large fishery or from uh, an internet. But my use of knowledge um, does not take away from your use of knowledge. There's no subtractability. Now, on the internet, there are problems of congestion from time to time, and we've been building and building and building so that we keep making it bigger and bigger, and the problems of congestion are not as great. But uh, we have problems then of uh, when we de develop freeware, uh, who is encouraged to do so, how do we give credit where credit's due, and uh, there are lots of people who said, oh, you'd never have people contribute to making freeway. Well, wrong. They do. So there's a, there are many similarities, but it is a somewhat different problem. And Charlotte Hess and I have been working on that one, and uh, Charlie Schweik at uh, University of Massachusetts Amherst. Well, they're not so informal. Over time, uh, Doug Van Howling and others who have been involved in uh, developing those rules have tried to be sure that um, there were reasonable rules. Um, and uh, it's a challenge. This is not an easy thing to organize, uh, but people have been working on it very hard. Uh, there are problems of scam and uh, all sorts of problems of this sort, but um, even in farmers' markets around the world, you sometimes will find some people coming in a vegetable stand and having rotten fruit underneath the good fruit. So uh, I don't know any institution that works perfectly in all circumstances. Mm -hmm.